Raptor 2 to Classic starts in 5, 4, 3, oh, 2, there we go. 1. Oh! What is going on you guys? Welcome to another episode. Brian and I are out camping at the Pacific Coast and we're heading out tuna fishing. We're actually participating in a tuna fishing tournament, the Washington Tuna Classic. The tournament doesn't actually start until Saturday. So we've got a couple days to kind of fish for some other stuff. The reason that we're actually here is because we got invited to document the Washington Tuna Classic. So we're super excited. We're gonna introduce you guys to a few people that run it. It's a little foggy right now, but it should clear up in a bit. And if we get lucky, by the way, and catch tuna or salmon or whatever we get out here on this trip, we're gonna cook it up together and do a catch and cook. I've never done a tuna catch and cook. Neither have I ever caught a tuna. Brian's never caught a tuna. Let's do it. So it looks like this boat here actually came out. We saw a bunch of tuna on their boat, so maybe we can like check that out real quick. Looks like this is the boss. He's filleting them up. The boss. <laughs> so that's a tuna head right here. Absolutely beautiful. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, you bet, guys. Have fun. <laughs> you yeah. bet. Take care. So we're getting the crab pot ready. We got our bait right here, some chicken and a little bit of some squid. So we're going to bait up the crab pot, drop that baby right down here. It's the mark of the Kraken. The Krakens. So that baby's on the bottom. We're just going to let her soak there for maybe a couple hours. We're going to go do some other stuff and kind of see what the day brings. Bubba Gump Express. Check out, this is the Mission Outdoors booth right here, right in front of the docks. Guys, this is Shannon. Hey she runs Mission Outdoors. Yeah. She's having us out for this awesome event. Tell us real quick what Mission Outdoors is doing. Yeah, thanks guys. So we get veterans and active duty in town here for the Washington Tuna Classic. For sure, our most popular event. And we get them out fishing and we just get them back outdoors and our slogan is Hope Grows Outdoors. So. You know, we all need more fun right now and just get them connected to community and, you know, find ways we can help them. It's big thanks to these guys yes. for having us out. Without them, we wouldn't be here and it's an honor to be a part of the whole thing. So we're just kind of setting up for the whole event right now. The tournament's in a couple days. Perpendicular to you. Oh. Right. Got yeah, beautiful blackberry. All right, Brian and I, we got all the fishing gear ready. We're gonna head down now to one of these little jetties to maybe pick up a couple of rockfish or something. Here I've got a couple of rods. One is just set up with like a Kitek swim bait. And the other guy, we got set up with a bobber. So we're just gonna tear off one of these squid heads here. If there's one thing we know, it's the bobber. We're just gonna fish kind of right in front of the rocks. Oh, from pelicans. All right, we didn't catch any fish. So we're gonna see if we got crabs instead. Ooh, oh, crap. look at that. Little rock crab. This is a red rock crab. We're gonna let this guy go. This little girl go no matter what. This guy here, you can tell, that's a male. This little part right there, it's skinnier. And look at, <laughs> look at his little claw. <laughs> hey, you wanna shake his hand? Oh, he's gonna get me. No. Oh, we're now, we're way off. Yeah, no, I'm just not. So these little guys here are lucky. Sustainability is super important. If there is a minimum size, we just wanna stick to that. Gonna say goodbye to these guys. They're a little ugly. They're not gonna get a kiss. Hey, puppy, what's going on? Whee! We're out at the ocean right now and check out that sunset behind us. The sky is completely on fire. It's just beautiful, man. This is cool.
Lolicious. Finally, first time puking on a boat. Great experience, I recommend everyone try sometime. There's a shark swimming around over there, right at the surface, you can barely see him. A little squeaky noise from the engine, no big deal, we're only 25 miles out. And we're gonna do some salmon trolling. Right now people are doing really good on Chinook and Coho salmon. There's also pink salmon. It's just right now is a season where they're all coming in. We've got these guys here. These are called downriggers. These guys just let us fish at a set depth that we can decide and we can precisely target them like that. Downrigger. Brian's got one on the. You need this? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's okay. oh what's that? Little, uh, little coho? Just comes off the boat. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful coho. Yeah. Midway had some deals the other day. Midway? Midway. Yeah. There's another one. Oh, oh there you go. There you go. Get him! Get him! He's got it. Good job, baby. Good job. There you go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Not a huge fighter. It ain't the Chinook. So we caught a wild salmon. We're gonna let him go again. There we go. Oh, and he's up. Good one. Still pretty good little fish. That's a good fighter. Yeah. Aw. That's a nice coho. Jeez. Good one. Oh yeah, told you about the Chinook. So he's diving deep, he's diving deep. Oh, it's oh, a tiny one. <laughs> oh, oh, that's hey. a fish out! We might want to change for Oh, he popped. We lost him! Oh well. Wanna pop loose or not the little ones, you gotta get down to the big ones. Oh. Oh yeah, you're on that time. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one's decent. Oh, and he's off. Another wild one. Let him go. Swam okay. off healthy, so all's good. What was that? It's locked in the brain now. Yeah. Oh, whale! Oh. Whale! Big whale. Cool. You saw a big whale back there. Was it a humpback whale, probably? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Came way out, tail out of the water, went down. It's got that kind of texture. 
Check this out, we got a giant ocean sunfish right here next to the boat. These guys are huge, but they're like gentle giants. They're super, super cool. Oh, he's so cute. Watch out, buddy. Oh, I barely missed one. It's a, it's a boy. It's a seal. Oh, the seal's coming for the, the head. Is he gonna? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh. After a long day on the water, we're back at camp. We've got our little campfire and we're melting, melting metal. We're making non-lead fishing weights. Ooh, oh nice pour, Brian. Nice. Sweet weight. So it got really late. We're exhausted. <laughs> We're having a fire right now. Got my corn right in here. We're gonna open that up in a minute. What we'll do is try and catch some tuna or whatever else we catch tomorrow. Who knows what'll happen? And maybe we'll do like a little sashimi platter and fry some of it. Just we'll, you know. We're gonna just eat this corn tonight. Go to bed. And then get up really early and we'll see you guys there. Morning guys, I just got up. Uh, it's about to happen. We're about to go 80 miles offshore tuna fishing on the tournament. It's tournament day. Super ready for this, so let's go down to the boat, make some coffee first, and then uh, whew, let's catch our first tuna. All right, coffee time. The Washington Tuna Classic starts in five, four, three, two, one. boots and the waders it's tuna time we've arrived now at the blue water right? inshore the water's more like a murky green color and then out here offshore it turns beautiful clear blue and that's where the tuna are living look at the commercial fishermen look at this so the team with the five biggest fish combined weight are who wins the tournament and i believe there's also a prize for biggest fish time to get serious what we're looking for is little flashes it's like a really fast it's like a whip as soon as you see that, I'll drive right over to it, control right through it, hopefully we'll hook up with a fish. Check out the color of the water now, it's super blue. We're putting out the big outriggers for the tuna, and we're gonna have one line out on that side, another line out on that side. Easy, right? Whack them and stack them. Whack them and stack them. <laughs> oh. So this right here, this is one of the most popular. This is like the classic tried and true. Classic tried and true, just I'll a lead nose. I'll be surprised if we don't get our first fish on this. On the right cedar here. plug, all right? We got our first bite on probably the cedar plug. We'll slow the boat down, we'll stop it basically. Okay. And then we're gonna grab our casting reels and we're gonna cast out some flat falls. And those will actually fall down and, and hopefully get down to where the fish are hanging out. Uh, no, just the general setup. I've just got a. Whoa. Yeah, that might be something on. Here, we might need to bring that out. The line might be stuck on the. That's my. That's a fish on, huh? Fish on, fish on baby. Oh, that's a tuna. First nice. Tuna. First tuna in the boat. That's what's up. Nice. Beautiful. What are we catching on life? Cedar plug, you said it. <laughs> Dude, look at that. The rod was all the way up there. Congrats, man. First tuna. That was crazy. That was insane, dude. We got our first tuna. We're now getting some bait ready that we can throw overboard once we get another bite. And then hopefully we can get a bait ball of tuna going underneath us. Yeah, next time, could you f keep your fish's blood off the boat, please? Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> That's bizarre. I mean, even the weight of the holes pop out. Oh, there we go, fish. Cast 
them out, boys. Cast them out the other stuff. I guess not. There you go. Eat cast bait. Throw some bait. Yep. Grab the bait rod. Hey, John, baby. He's going down deep. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh! Oh, color, here he is. Yep. Here for you. Oh! Oh! Next little bit. Chip up and step back when he. Is. There we go. Got him. Go. Want to hold Holy it? cow, first tuna. Make sure of that. Let's do it. <laughs> Grab him by the tail. Grab him by the tail? Yep. It's absolutely beautiful. The, he feels super, you can't feel the scales at all. It almost feels a little slimy. Very, uh, just smooth. Super smooth. A little warm, it doesn't feel cold at all. I don't know if it's the water or the warm blood that they have. But uh, giant eyes on them. Gorgeous. The small teeth. It's my first time seeing a tuna up close, so this is absolutely Yeah, they're pretty amazing. cool. Oh, anyway, yeah, let's rinse this guy off and get a good look at him. <laughs> oh, man. Good fight, too. We're going to cut his gills now, start bleeding him out, and immediately get him on ice. We've got a, like a bleed out tank there where we'll get the blood out, and then we want to cool him down as fast as possible. Okay. All right, and then he goes right in here. Yeah. All right, there we go. Oh, look at that blue line on him there. All right, if you've ever wondered on a tuna, if these little fins right here, if this is like hard or somehow sharp, it's not. It's actually really soft. I've always wondered about this on a tuna. Like spikes or something. Yeah, I just thought there were spikes. Giant pectoral fins on him. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. All right, baby. Thank you. Oh, wow, now that he's in the water, he's actually fluttering again. Trying to swim down to the bottom. Yep. That's what we want him to do. Thank you, man. You're welcome. That, that was, was awesome. That was amazing. Look, he's been eating little... Oh, uh, did he puke that out? Yeah, that came out of his mouth. Oh. So this is what that tuna puked up. It looks kind of like a... That's an anchovy. anchovy. Yep, big mouth. Yeah. So they're eating anchovies out here. Give that back to the sea. That was on the cedar plug. Two fish so far on this guy here. Crazy, such a simple lure. Oh, let's actually see that action, see what it does. Oh, okay, so it's kind of spinning. Yeah. Okay, I, I can see that. <laughs> First hour has not been that ready. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, let's go. 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 Brian's one going. Nice. Oh, oh, he's running. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're running, dude. Nice. Oh, Brian's yeah. first tuna. <laughs> oh. He went straight down. Went yeah. straight down, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Get that jig out and keep fishing. Yeah. He likes this one. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Get it all over everything. Oh, is the uh. Here, I'll tighten it yeah, for you. Buddy. There you go. Keep reeling. There we go.
Nice. Yeah. In. All right, let's go. All right, beanbag lounge time is over. We are now checking in at the harbor again. We'll probably get through to the harbor with about 20 minutes to spare, which is the cutoff, the deadline to make it in so that we don't get disqualified. We've got a couple serious contender fish. We got a few really big ones, so who knows what the others caught? What do you think, are we winners? Yes. <laughs> Right. Back on land. <laughs> you hit the other boats. Oh man, they did good. Oh yeah, that was a nice finish. There's two pretty good sizes here. They're bigger than our biggest. Wow. We need to be at 120. These are our get some pictures. five fish right yes. there. Total weight 94.14. Yes sir. And it was 120. Was Would the have, that was the contender when we got in. So we didn't win. We'll see how we place. All right, we're at the weigh station. We're definitely not winners. Our team did pretty good, but we're not winning. But here's my first tuna that I ever caught. Got him. And then right over here's the number at the weigh station, 1023. So that's, I guess, how tournaments work and weigh stations work first time. But uh, she's still a beauty. You guys want to see some of the winning fish? Here they are. Some big ones. I think the biggest fish is like 28 pounds or something, so pretty impressive. All right, we're out of here. Shannon's husband, Christian, reached out to me, and his son, Gabriel, turns out that he's a fan of the channel, and they've been watching the videos together for a long time. So, Gabriel, we're going to surprise you here right now. I see you over there. We're going to surprise you with a bullet lure. We're going to send you another care package just as a huge thank you for having us out here. I got something for you. Check this out. <laughs> that bump. It is a <laughs> You knew exactly what it is. This guy here came out of my tackle box. Wow. So I used that one actually in some mountains for some episodes that you've probably seen. Yeah, I have. You're more than welcome, dude. Yeah. Do you want to be in the in the new episode? Yeah. In the tune episode? Try. <laughs> you'll try? No, you're already in it, yeah. buddy. <laughs> All right, so I've never cut a tuna before. We're just going to use a little pocket knife. We'll take off like a nice little back section here. So we'll come in. How about right here? Ooh, 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 there we go, like butter. Shallow cut first, just through the skin. And then we'll go a little deeper all the way to the backbone. And then we'll cut right here, just over the... Ooh, a lot of scales, interesting, two and a half scales. I didn't really know that. And then the two cuts should meet down by the spine and look at that beautiful <laughs> table for the cooker look at that man a fat tuna loin Here, before we cook anything, I'm curious what just a little piece of raw tuna would taste like. Brian, you want to taste some too? Cheers. Dink. Huh. Super mild. Very mild. It's good. It's good. Not fishy at all. Super tender. Pleasant, actually. It's a little sweet. Yeah. Slightly salty from the sea, like a little bit of a sea brine. So we're gonna fry it in the pan, but we're just gonna kiss it real quick. We really don't want to overcook tuna. Good fresh tuna like that is perfectly fine to have a little, little raw in the center, nice and sashimi grade. Fresh tuna, dude, you could just, we're gonna keep the super simple, just a little bit of white sesame seeds. There you go. Don't go to be shy at all. Tiny little bit of vegetable oil in the pan there. Give it a nice roll in there. Now, I do not know if this is how they would do this in a restaurant. Flip this guy here. Oh god. There you go. A little bit of a kiss there. Just gonna cut some little medallions out of that. We're just gonna throw these guys in a little bit of like a panko.
looking good. This is looking really good. All right, here we go. Ooh, that looks so good. Guys, here we'll just kind of let those cool off in the pan. Everything's done. Remember, we don't want to overcook tuna. A little bit of Ryu in this pan right here. Oh, the Danish sea salt. Oh. We got a little bit of Danish sea salt. We really don't want to throw a whole lot of salt on. We're just gonna put just a just a kiss. <laughs> a kiss right there. Now look at that. That is a tuna loin right there. Dude. Let's see, let's see. Oh, oh a little oh. overcooked, a little overcooked, but it's still good on the inside. Dude. Dude, if I could share some with you guys, that, oh man. Oh, it only gets better. Oh, because it's going towards the thicker end. All right, Brian. I'm ready. You want to do this? Yeah, I do. Ooh. Take this guy. Cheers. Oh, Cheers. Boy. Cheers, guys. Man, that's how tuna's supposed to be. Oh, man. Why do people eat it in a can? Why would you ever eat canned tuna? End piece. Mostly cooked, little raw in the middle. It's almost like pork. Right, it does look like pork. Very firm, flaky meat. Oh, heavy one, man. heavy one. There you go. Mm -hmm. Check those guys out. Oh, Try just oh. one little guy. Mm. I think these guys cooked all the way. Totally fine. They've just got like a panko crust on them. A little squirt of sriracha mayo. Mm. A little pink on the inside. Oh, that's good. We're gonna dip in everything we have. Back. That that's was pretty good. I don't know which one I like better. Mm. Let's find out. I'm gonna try that one. Let's find out, yeah. <laughs> So good. Good. Yeah. Cool. And special thank you to Ryan for providing the boat and taking us all out there uh, as one heck of an adventure. And it turns out that that's probably Ryan's last time taking that boat out here in Westport tuna fishing. So it's kind of a special trip. They are actually moving out to Idaho. So if you're maybe curious about what a move like that to Idaho would look like, feel free to follow his daughter's YouTube channel. She started YouTube, wanted a shout out, so here you go. I'll put the link to their channel in the video description below and she's documenting the moving process. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, everyone, for making this possible. Thank you, Mission Outdoors, for taking care of our veterans and doing such a great thing. And we're gonna look forward to working together in the future and maybe get a lot of you guys to join in on this one as well. Cheers. Cheers. If you're brand new, remember to subscribe, hit the like button, helps out a ton. Leave a comment, you guys know I love reading them. I love you all, we'll see you for the next episode. Till then, you all know it, fish on baby. All right, we're at the award ceremony, just grabbed our dinner. The show of hands, can I see all the veterans in the house, please? Oh, everybody, big round of applause. Who would like to hear the winners? Double down and first place, we have team Usual Suspects. Yeah.